Hey guys, I'm just working on my video review. Just thought I'd make this little quick excerpt. This is weird. This is strange. Really strange. So you buy this $10 case for the Raspberry Pi 5, right? And the ideal goal is that you use the case with the active heatsink or the active cooler because it's pretty much needed and required, right? But this does not fit on the case with the active cooler. Because this is in the way so it's more or less you buy the case or you get the active cooler they're not intended to be used uh, together so you have this and it doesn't fit so I have to re either remove the fan or remove this and then what makes it was really stupid is that the fan from the case is supposed to plug in directly into the board where the active cooler is how come people don't talk about this stuff in their reviews this is why a lot of man so like, how is this not discuss because this is supposed to look like you need all three you know the power adapter the case at least to protect it and then the active cooler so it makes no sense to use the active cooler if you use the case they're not designed to work together weird i, I don't understand this uh design and then typically you will plug the fan into the gpio case so am I supposed to turn it upside down like this? I mean, I'm guessing, I don't know, but this is some of the stuff that we look at as far as the viewers and people doing commentary, but we, you know, these design flaws. I mean, like, why would I, like, what the heck? I guess that could work, but then even still, I don't have a place to plug in the fan. This is, this is strange. I haven't seen anybody talk about this kind of stuff. So it's, I don't know, what the heck. All right, so here we have both Raspberry Pi 5s. This is the four gigabyte version, even though it doesn't matter. This is the eight gigabyte version here. And as we just discovered, I cannot use the case, which cost $10, by the way, cohesively with the active cooler. I don't understand this. And so to me, the objective goal is to get as much cooling on here as possible um, even using it in the case raises temps. A couple other guys, they got 77 degrees Celsius. Uh, people in an open, uh, uh, open air case, something like this, had temps of anywhere between 55 to 67 degrees. 67 more or less on average in this format. So you would think the objective goal would be to use the fan on this in a case in a protective setting along with the active cooler. However, there's only one port. There's only one port for a fan here, so you can't use this one and this at the same time, so you would have to unplug it. So on top of that, that means you would then, as I just discovered, would have to either use the case top here or the uh, the active cooler. And then if you get the case, this is the only heat sink that you have. This is the only one that it applies to. Now, if you looked at the thermal pads that came with the Raspberry Pi 5 with the active cooler. It has three pads on there. Uh, I don't see it, obviously. Well, there's three pads on this thing. You guys saw it a little bit earlier. But what would be the point of buying a case that have has only one heat sink when you need three designed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation to keep this thing cool, and then you can't use both cooling solutions at the same time? I don't get it. I don't understand it. Now, this was my design, and I only did this just to kind of create a video and show you guys that was possible in terms of looking at additional options. But this is probably the de best design case that you could get, an open-air case where you could use both fans cohesively as a unit, and that will give you the best possible airflow. So we have this fan spinning cool air directly on top of it. I haven't even had this thing come on uh, a lot of people have it. The only time it comes on is when I power it on. So this would be the design you want to use. And then, of course, also use the GPIO header pins in order to power it. So I don't get this. What would have been the point? This is what we're trying to accomplish. But these are official products and we can't accomplish our purpose uh, with the Pi Foundation's options. So, again, this is what comes with this is what we buy and i thought and i haven't seen any videos again 
that this would have been working together tandem as a unit with the case. But apparently that's not the that's that's not the solution here. So your best solution is just to avoid buying the official case from the Pi Foundation and go with something else that's going to allow you to use both. All right, so just looking at this further, this doesn't make any sense because there's nowhere on, uh, there's no instructions in here. Uh, there's no nothing online when you put these to your shopping cart or if you buy these uh, separately or together that warns you that these can't be uh, used simultaneously. So uh, I wonder if the Pi Foundation knows about this. Obviously, they should. I haven't seen too many people mention it, but there's no warning labels. There's nothing here that says if you use the... Uh, official case or you can't use the official case at the same time with the active cooler now i was just talking to one of my other buddies uh he says that this spins sideways or it pushes out heat sideways and then you put the case on here this blows air directly back down in the case so it's like the case is trapping in heat i haven't actually seen that but obviously since you can't use both of these together uh i would understand but at the same time even if i took off the active cooler and this fan is blowing downwards, then it's trapping heat inside it. Again, some of my other buddies, they've already taken this off entirely. Uh, they just use this as this. And then the other thing I want to point out too is this case didn't come with any screws. Normally you get some screws like this, which came with my acrylic case to make sure that it's mounted. This official case has nothing. In fact, maybe at least one screw, maybe two, so you can screw them in diagonally, but this case didn't come with anything. So uh, I haven't seen any other videos on it. Just wanted to make the community aware that, in my opinion, this is probably a non-desired design. Um, actually, this goes on top of this. So it's supposed to go like that, but uh, that's not going to work. Uh, and then the hat is supposed to go on top of this, but... Yeah, the resellers should make everybody aware that the case is not designed to work in conjunction with the active cooler. Uh, it's a flawed design, in my opinion. I don't know why they didn't use the GPIO cases here or the GPIO pins uh, over here for the Raspberry Pi 5. But no screws to hold this thing down. I mean, this thing is just plopped in here. So um, anyway... I just thought I would let you guys know because I'm still scratching my head trying to figure out this design and why they chose to go with this method and nobody warned anybody or said anything about it. So anyway, like and subscribe.